Now that we know how to create a flowchart, let's look at some ways to align our objects. To exaggerate the point, I'm going to change the size of some of these objects. Make that one a little smaller. Make this one a little wider. Maybe not that wide. I want to take a moment to talk about adding shapes to the screen. Let's take an ellipse. Where I click my mouse button will be the upper left hand corner and I'll drag it to the lower right corner. And it's an ellipse. It can be shorter and wider, thinner and taller, or I can try and make it a circle. The easiest way to make it a circle is to hold down the shift. This works on the first time because I haven't set the shape yet. Right now it just knows I want some kind of ellipse. So when I take my finger off shift, it can go back to the thin and tall, hold shift, it becomes that circle. But once I let go of my left mouse button, I see the blue squares around the edges and my shape is set. Now, if I pull from the side, it becomes wider and thinner. And if I pull from the top or the bottom, it will change the height. And if I pull from one of these corners, I can change the height and the width. Now that the shape's set, if I hold down shift when I'm changing the height or the width, it will just shrink or grow my shape instead of giving me that perfect circle. So the circle works on the first time, and with the rectangle, it will work with the square. But once that shape is set, then the shift will shrink or grow the object. To line things up, we have a toolbar. I'm going to view, toolbars, align. Now everything is grayed out at the moment, not active because we have nothing selected. We need to select a single box or a group of shapes to make the align work. If I select a single shape, align left takes me to the left margin, align right to the right margin, and center takes me to the center of the page. Let me bring that back. Now I want to line up all my shapes on the left side of the page. To do that, I need to select them. So. So I'm going to left mouse button and group these all together. Now if I click the left, it will go to the left side where all these boxes are. The right will be the right side of these boxes and the center will be the center box up and down. Let's try it out. See there's left, there's right, and here's center. And center is what I was looking for, but I have one little problem my yes and no got aligned. In a future tutorial, we'll look at how to group these together so that that doesn't happen. Now, if I just have one object that I want to center to the center of the page real quick, I'll probably just right click on that and use the alignment here, left centered right, top center bottom, instead of opening up my alignment toolbar and going from there. Same thing. <laughs>